Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me for another video here at Just Say No to Narcs. Um, I want to make this a quick, short video and answer a question that um, I often see posted or people ask me frequently um, through coaching or just through emails. And that is why is the narcissist still with the new supply? This really plays on someone's psyche because it makes that person feel like they weren't good enough. Maybe it was them. You guys, it's all a part of the game. Uh, the narcissist has probably found someone who's willing to take their bull, just like you were at some point um, when you were with them. And so please do not be discouraged by this illusion. Now, what I do suggest for you is maybe pray for that person if you feel like they're a victim. And if not, if they seem really toxic like the narcissist, pray that they stay together. Hey, that's one less innocent person for them to destroy. Let them both destroy each other. Who cares, right? I want to encourage you to let go of that whole demon. They meant no good for you. This is, you have to practice the thought process of just not caring about what they're doing and who they're with because they bring nothing good to anyone. They don't add any value to anyone's life. They are takers. They will always be takers. And that person, if they want to put up with that, there's nothing you can do about that. They might put up with it until the day that they die because they are that desperate. Um, and the trauma bond is so great. Some people do get snuffed out in this life, unfortunately, but you are not a savior. You cannot look at that situation that you were once in and think that this person has changed when they have never apologized to you or anyone else. And the Bible tells us that we know them by their fruit. And so the simple fact that they have not corrected any of their wrongs lets you know that they are not different. And that's just the bottom line. You have to practice thinking that and knowing that and praying to God to come and fill your heart with the peace and his understanding of what is actually taking place. Again, we can pray for the person from afar, but don't put yourself out on a limb to warn them or allow your compassion um, for someone to override common sense. So make sure you are just staying in line with God's word and just really ignoring what they're doing. The peaking thing can really keep stringing you along until you, you know, get to a place where you're strong enough to be able to glance or look at something. And I don't mean like you go deliberately peek, but just say you see them in public or something that until you feel like it doesn't bother you and you don't care, then peaking is going to hurt you. Um, you are reinforcing the lie that the narcissist spoke to you. And so I just say, practice not giving one ounce of whatever about the narcissist because the narcissist has done it with you. When it comes down to it, they don't care about you. They are on a mission to destroy you. Do not do the work for them. This is why they put you in that fatigue mode so that you'll continue to do the work. This is why the trauma bond and the push and pull happens because you will continue self-sabotaging. They will continue casting illusions before you and everyone else. There's someone other than you who's glancing over that they've hurt. They leave a, a trail of broken people behind them. And these people are constantly watching them move on, not saying anything, walking in silence. If it makes you feel any better, start telling your story. Use wisdom when telling your story, but start speaking up. When you start talking about it and letting that garbage out and hearing yourself talk about it, that really helps with your journey because the new supply, there's nothing you can do about that person. You were once the new supply. They told you a lie. They had um, flying monkeys to reinforce that lie. And so there's no way that person's going to know you're not crazy because there's enough people the narcissist knows who don't know you or maybe did who are willing to tell that new person that you're just as crazy as the narcissist is saying you are. And um, that new person probably doesn't have any boundaries, has very low self-esteem, um, you know, and if they're toxic, then they're just going to be toxic and you can't do anything about it. So protect yourself, protect your space, protect your compassion. 
and focus on the things of the Lord. It is really hard to go through the fire, to go through the cleansing process. I am a living witness to tell you it is difficult. It's difficult to really do what they say, let go and let God. That's not easy because we like to control how things affect us. But I'm telling you, let's give it over to God just a little bit at a time. And he'll come in and he'll reduce some things in your life. You'll look up and you'll think, wow, I don't feel this way. I'm, you know, you know, what happened to those emotions? I feel so much better. I don't feel so angry. Um, And God is doing a work when that's taking place. When we surrender all, seriously surrender all, he comes in. And he washes us clean. So whatever the new supply is doing, that's on them. They are going to have to find their way. Even if they come to you, do not fall for it. Do not put yourself out there. You can tell them that, hey, I'll pray for you. Follow God's lead and leave it at that. Don't tell them all of your business and how you felt Don't talk about it because you never know who the enemy sends to you. Now, some of you have become friends with the new supply who's left the narcissist. And I would say to still be careful with that. But not all of those people are evil or have ill will against you. And you'll know by the leading of God's spirit of whether or not you need to connect with that person or not. But for the most part, I'm going to say, hey, protect your space. What is your peace worth? Is it worth it to peak? You already know how that person is. What they did to you was true. It was absolutely real. It happened. And I know some people say they might go on to the next person and not abuse them. That's not true. They're going to abuse them. They're already abusing them. They say that narcissists can maintain that mask for about six months. And I think that's being generous because my experience with the sociopath was immediately. I saw it. I ignored it. The other person's doing the same thing. They're confused about their feelings. When you don't have an example of relationships set before you growing up, you don't really know what love is. You haven't been in a loving relationship. You don't know what you're doing. That's why it's important to submit your request to God. So when you want a mate or you want a good friend or you want to be in a good church, in a good circle, good community, you need to submit those requests to God so that God will send the right people into your life and give you the wisdom and the discernment to know Who should be there? So whatever the new supply is doing, if they stay together until death does not part, you know, great for them. But that ain't none of your business, what they're doing now. You have made the decision to grow and to be a better person and that you will be. They will see and glance at you. They will always watch you to see what you're doing. And it would always call, it will always cause misery within them, within the narcissist and the toxic new person. If they're toxic, they're always going to be miserable people. You don't want to be around that. I, I just can't stand people who are just constantly complaining and whining about stuff. So it's like if at some point you got to take responsibility for your life. And so narcissists are not going to do that. Some of those new supplies, they're not going to do that. And so let them go. Let them go and do whatever it is that they want to do because you have work to do for God. There are people who are waiting for you and your story. And when we pour out and we become a blessing to other people, those types of things don't matter anymore. You start to realize your purpose and your destiny and it, it strengthens you and it empowers you. So I hope that you feel empowered by the words that I've shared. You are here for a reason, not by accident. So please seek God's word. Open the Bible. Look at the scriptures. Know what you dealt with. This is a spiritual battle. And we will not succumb to the wounds that we received from this war. But instead, we will heal and become stronger soldiers. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. God bless you. Take good care of yourselves.